Hey. Oh, hello. I recognise those earrings. Yeah, Mark got them for, for God's sake. I actually thought he picked them out himself this time. Probably shouldn't have told you. I won't be mentioning that to my mum. She was very impressed with his taste for once. Oh, bless her. Seriously, thanks though. He needs guidance. Last Christmas, he got me the, the Big, Big Bang, Bang Theory box set. Yeah, that was very poor. I watched it once with him and dad, probably like three years ago. I think I laughed a grand total of two times. And somehow that means it's my favourite TV show. Oh, <laughs> the boy tries. He did well for Valentine's Day, though, to be fair. You literally sent him a screenshot of the necklace you wanted. Yeah, I was hoping you'd forgotten about that. Me? Forgetful? <laughs> Never. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Men are hopeless, though. They really are. The guy I'm speaking to only listens to Oasis. You're speaking to someone? Since when? We went on a date today. How come you haven't told me? I wanted to wait, you know, spill the tea in full. Okay, rewind. He only listens to Oasis. He's a simple man. I don't believe you. Well, I wish I was kidding. We went to almost every vintage shop in town. It was quite sweet, really. Only for him to say, at the very end, that he hadn't listened to anything other than Oasis for an entire year. I asked him why. God. And he told me <laughs> they're the only band that makes him feel alive, I think it was. No, 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 it was better than that. He said they're the only band that wholly and truly grounds him to the chaos that is reality and love. Tell me you're not going to still see him. Or La. I don't know. He sounds like a textbook arsehole. <laughs> he was sweet, other than that. Really? Of course. It's not all about the conversation, Louise. Right, you better not be texting him this whole evening. It's my mum. Fine. It's Ollie. Oh, he has a name. Right, you are fully giggling at your phone. <laughs> Wet wipe. All right. No boy talk tonight. Tonight is about femzine only. Here's to two years of beautiful magazine making together. Cheers to that. What are you drinking? White. It's from Molly, actually, the girl that did the art for our last issue. Oh, the one that drew all the tits all the time. Yeah, yeah, lovely girl. Talk about abstract art, though. My God, the multicolored boobs were a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Her and Maggie used to date in first year. Are you serious? Yeah, for a few months. Uh, Molly's gay. Wow, I suppose all the nudes make sense now, though. What? They are the drawings of nudes, you idiot. Oh, I see the nudes. I see. Do I feel like? Oh, I don't know. Like everyone's like gay or bi now. Especially in our circle. It's almost embarrassing to be straight or something, you know? I guess queerness is just more widely accepted. It's so much easier to be open about it. To be honest, I think everyone's probably a little bit gay. It's a spectrum, isn't it? You trying to tell me something, Orla? No, no. I mean, I don't know. I have thought about it more. So you're bi? Hmm. I don't really know, maybe. Wow, cool. It's not a big deal. No, 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 not, not at all. You're probably right about the whole spectrum thing. I mean, I'm probably more attracted to like Cara Delevingne than your brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't pull that face. I still love you, Dimwit. <laughs> Is Mark with you? Yeah, he just left the room. I think the whole cow del thing got to him a little bit. Did you hear that whole conversation? Probably not. He seemed pretty focused on cleaning the room for once. What, Louise? What? Do you think he heard me talking about sexuality and stuff? Don't know, don't it? Why does it matter? I just, it's just weird. How, he, he wouldn't care? I know, it's not that, it's, I just didn't know he was in the room. Sorry. Thought you would have heard me in the background. That was, was some of me. Sorry. Mm, it's okay. 
He probably didn't hear it. It's fine. Yeah, it's not like you made any big announcements. You know, nothing groundbreakingly gay. <laughs> nothing groundbreakingly gay. <laughs> You're a weirdo. You know what I mean? How are things with you guys anyway? With Mark? Yeah, they good. I never know how much to tell you. Like, do you ever find it icky? What? That I'm dating your brother. No. I mean, I'm still getting used to it. But I guess it's also pretty cute. No. <laughs> He's like the sweetest guy I've ever dated. He's like so supportive of Femzine too. Mark is getting increasingly woke by the day. You've taught him well. I doubt I've had any input there. He loves you to bits, Lou. I can tell. I'm, I'm happy for you guys. Oh. God. Way too much boy talk. We are bad feminine. <sighs> Let's talk Femzine. Okay. Right. I was on the phone to my aunt the other day. You know the one who owns Aura, the skincare company? I am the one, yeah. She ordered our recent issue yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was saying how much she loves what we're doing with the magazine, our style, our message. Our style? Yeah. She wants us to model for her brand. We could do a feature. They put us in their ads, promote Femzine. We'd gain a huge following. Seriously? Yeah, and we'd get paid. Well, how come you didn't say anything before? I don't know. I just wanted to wait a little while, I guess. See if she was having me on, but she kept bringing it up. Then I thought maybe it's better, you know, for me to talk to you now, before Maggie gets here. Why before Maggie gets here? I'm going to be sure how she'd react. How do you mean? Oh, basically, last year, this thing went down with them. What thing? One of their founders said some stupid non p stuff a while back. Someone skipped it up, and then he refused to apologise, denied it. Well, our, our zine can't really be affiliated with anything too controversial. I know. But I spoke to her about it. It would be hypocritical. Of us. She said it's all in the past. No one even remembers anymore. I didn't know about all that stuff, to be fair. And I suppose no one can ever be completely perfect. People are always looking for a slip up. People like Maggie are. Louise. She's a great writer, don't get me wrong, but. What? So you ever just get fed up? How do you mean? I mean, I get the political correctness. It's, it's important. We're a magazine that supports women, of course, I get it. But she just, I don't know, she just takes it a bit far sometimes. I suppose she can. I mean, have you heard her band stuff? No. It's not even music. They're basically just screaming. I do not get it. It's not to your taste. Is it to yours? I went through an emo phase, you know, back in the day. Fallout Boy were my jam. Oh God, I thought Oasis Boy was bad. Oh, do you think I'm being a bitch? No, it's... It's just this hard talk about these things when... Just li let's just leave it, okay? I'm a midi cow this evening. Wine makes me a dickhead. <laughs> I get it, though. She's a lot sometimes. I'm glad it's not just me. So, that's right. She needed me to sign contracts uh, by this evening. And I just emailed it over to her today. Can I have a contract? Louise, you can't just... Yeah, but it's no biggie, really. It's my aunt. Just chill. If a huge reason comes up for us to not do it, you know, we can get out of it. Really? I'm not sure that's how it works. We need to speak to Maggie about this. Yeah, but it's the right direction for us to go in. You said we were losing followers. We need a game changer. I mean, if you guys don't want to do it, I can do it on my own. Oh, right. We need to change Orla. People are getting bored of aimless vents and drawings of multicoloured boobs. No one listens anymore. We need to actually do something to get seen. I know we're getting older, but that doesn't mean the rest of what we do is going to shit, Louise. Look, just because it's not a money spinner doesn't mean it's teenage trash. Not what I... Maggie might have some ideas. We'll see what she says. We shall. Where is she anyway? Oh, she texted me saying she was just finishing up her dinner, but I think she's coming soon. Why didn't she put it in the group chat? I don't know. Maybe it was just easier to text me. Fair enough. I don't think she likes me. 
thought we were done with this. She watches my stories and doesn't like my posts. It's weird. Oh shit, she's just joined the waiting room. Did you say anything to you about it? Louise? I just, I feel like she wants me out. It's like sometimes she hints I'm not good enough to be here, to be part of Femzine. You know you are. She's in the waiting room. She seems to think, because I like makeup and I haven't read the feminist mystique yet, it makes us sort of like second rate feminist. She once said me this post about internalised misogyny. Like, what's that supposed to mean? She shares those things all the time, to everyone. And it's the feminine mystique, Lou, not feminist. <laughs> you got the gist though. I don't see her so much anymore. We haven't had seminars together in a while and she's been working with her band a lot and I don't know, maybe she thinks you don't like her. That's insane. Oh, she's bizarre sometimes. But I like her. I like everyone. Except Oasis. Am I just being dumb? Can I let her in now? If she's been saying stuff to you, would you tell me? Well, she's not. She likes you, Louise. But just maybe don't mention the contract thing. Yeah, okay. Evening, ladies. How are we? We're all good. I'm so sorry I left you waiting. I am so shit with this stuff. I didn't it's even know right. it It's okay. <laughs> you look sick. How do you always look so cool? Stop it, Orla. You're too kind. <laughs> You're right, Louise? Oh. Since when did you say sick, Orla? It's a new thing, apparently. Forgive me for trying to be hip. What are you drinking, Max? Just in the water tonight. Rubbish. How come you're not drinking? I'm just not really in the mood. Oh, well, that's fair enough. I've been on it way too much recently. But it's our two year celebration. Like, we never chat anymore outside the official stuff. Don't worry, I don't need alcohol to have a good time. Oh, come on. It's all right. Have a drink, Maggie. Oh, thank you. Fair enough. Don't want to be the only one getting pissed, though. No, you're not, Lou. I've got my shitty wine, remember? That's my girl. How's the band stuff going, Maggie? Yeah, not too bad. I've been writing a lot of new material, actually. I was thinking I could write an article about it. That sounds interesting. About what? My band, how we make our music, why we do. Sounds cool. <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh, sorry, I was just replying to Mark. Uh, you were talking about, about your band. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Why is he texting you if you're in the same flat? He's a simp. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I think an article would be great, Maggie. Just send over a first draft whenever. I will. Exciting. Oh, did you guys see the documentary I sent you? Oh yeah, that looks super interesting. What, what documentary? I put it on the chat. It's about veganism. Oh, uh, no, I've not watched that one. Uh, you should. How long have you been vegan now? A month? It's actually been a lot easier than I thought. It's mainly takeaways which are the problem. There are only like two vegan options on delivery in my area, I swear. Fucking nightmare. Just a month. Thought it was longer. Nope. Seemed longer from your socials. You're very preachy. <laughs> no, no, I like it. I like it. Would you ever go vegan, Lou? Probably not. <laughs> I, I think as great people can, I just, I just don't think it'd make much of a difference. What do you mean? I don't know, I just feel like there's only so much an individual can do. I'm just off to get a refill, I'll be back in a sec. I mean, it, it's a big sacrifice for only one minuscule difference, if that, isn't it? It's large corporations and the government that have any sort of real control over climate change. Don't get me wrong, I care a lot about these things, obviously, but I also care about chocolate and cheese. I find it so hard to cut out dairy. What's the point of this scene? Really? What? If sacrifices aren't worth making for social change, if there's so much the individual can do to make a difference, well, if that's true, then 
what's the point of running an independent feminist scene? It's sort of different though. Totally different. Oh. You can't just say that. Get from it, right? Decent CV, looks good to other people. It looks like you're doing a good thing, right? Mags? Yeah. You know what, yeah, <laughs> that's the truth, isn't it? I mean, if you really believe that you genuinely don't give a crap what other people think of you, then come on, you're a bit deluded. I wouldn't say deluded, I oh, just... What are talking about? I think we all do our bit for society. I know. It's more that... Maggie, we all do our bit. It's fascinating to talk to you guys about this stuff. You know, challenge our ideas, it, it's great. Yeah. I'm sure you're not wanting to drink, Mags. I've got a perfectly sufficient glass of water here. Who are you texting, Orla? Liam Gallagher. What? Or is he more of a no? Shut it, Lou. Am I missing something here? It's nothing really. Come on, Orla, you can tell her. I know, it's just it's no biggie. You don't have to. She's seeing his boy. Louise! I'm seeing a guy, his name is Ollie. And he's a big Oasis as fat. Ollie and Orla, that's quite cute. Oasis though, really? <laughs> I mean, as long as he's paying all the dates, then he can blast all the Wonderwall he likes. Wait, for the bill. Ah, oh, here we go. Well, he's paid for everything so far, although I do always offer. You always split, Maggie. I mean, it doesn't really have the same implications when you date girls. What implications? If a guy pays for you, does it not just make you feel like you owe him something in return? Traditionally, that's kind of what it means. That just, I don't know, that would kind of freak me out. Dating boys is not as different as dating girls as you think. Doubt it. To be fair, I've never been made to feel like I owe him anything. I mean, I probably spend about 20 quid on makeup, a nice outfit and an Uber home. None of which he would have to spend a penny on. So I guess him paying for my meal is compensation for that. Damn. Yeah, that's a fair point. Or you could just screw it, forget the makeup and new outfit and rock up in a pair of joggers. Save the hassle and still get paid for. <laughs> Oh, uh, I saw your message last night, by the way, Orla. I'm so sorry I didn't reply. That's okay. Did you have any thoughts? Yes, I agree with you on changing things up. I'm actually thinking we can get potentially a bit more radical with the zine. I'm intrigued. Mm, I had this thought about maybe some kind of Zoom extravaganza. We get loads of girls along, get everyone to bring a piece of art. We go around the call, talk about each of the pieces, whether it's like a video, painting, song, whatever. It would just be a really cool way to interact with feminist creatives. A lot of people don't want to share their art. Oh, uh, I mean, they could just listen. Sounds a bit wanky to me. <laughs> Louise! It's cool, I appreciate the honesty. I like the idea. Logistics would be difficult though, it's a nightmare organising these things. Zoom calls can be pretty awkward too. You know, when, when people don't know each other that well. Yeah. We actually wanted to pitch something to you, Maggie. Oh, go on. Uh, my aunt was talking to me about her brand. Uh, Aura, the moisturisers and stuff. Yeah, 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 that's the one. She suggested that we could do some sort of collaboration with them. How would that work? It's something we still need to properly flesh out. They, they want us to model for them. What? Basically, they do a campaign with us. So <laughs> they want to make their ads more appealing to... Uh, I don't know, what, want to make them more... Empowering? Story. Yes, empowering. Um, so they wanted to do this campaign with us where we model for them, talk a little bit about feminism, femzine, in return for a couple of ads in our next zine. Ads? Well, it could just be a little bit of us talking about aura in an article or something. Well, since when do we do articles about cosmetics? It's not cosmetics, it, it, it's skincare. Modeling, not really my thing. Yeah, it is. What do you think, Orla? 
I think it's a good idea. Well, I, does it not just seem a bit hypocritical? Us doing ads for this product we've never even used before in an activist magazine. We're not really an activist magazine though, are we? Feminist magazine. And it's not just some random product, it's my aunt's company. It, it's time we branch out, right? It could be really good for publicity, you know, reaching out to wider audiences. Exactly, and we get paid. Not that that's our priority, but some extra money to put into Femzy would be amazing. I don't know, to be honest. This would happen. What's that supposed to mean? You just love to criticise. It's not a bad thing, though. Criticism is important. I just think it's important that we think about these things before making any mistakes. How do you think it could be a mistake? You really can't be too careful, especially with the company's history in mind. I just don't think our audience would be happy. I know what you're saying. But maybe it's time we shake things up a bit. We might regret not taking opportunities like these in years to come, and it could be really good for our brand as well. A brand? You know what I mean. It could be great for us. Allow us to reach more people, you know, spread our message. And their mes the moisturiser left me glowing. Fine, if you both want to do it, I suppose there isn't much else I can say. You sure? I suppose so. Democracy and all that. You have a fair point though, it is a bit of a jump. But a jump worth making. So what's the deal then? What do we know about this collaboration? So, for the modelling feature, it would just be us two mags. Um, my aunt said our appearances complement each other, you know, the, the fringe and everything. Um, so then Orla, would it be okay if you could a uh, answer like the questions for the interview part? Would that be okay? Yeah, that sounds good. Why have they gone face? I thought you hate to get your picture taken. Really, it's not a big deal. How is the chat going? Huh? With the Oasis boy? Hello, Wally. Doing fine. Someone's keen. I'll turn it off if it's annoying you. It wasn't annoying me. You can date my brother. I can date Oasis boy, okay? What? Can't actually tell if you're joking or not. Hi, oh, sorry. Just forget it, I'm exhausted today. You're not saying much, Max. Something wrong with you too. Oh, stop it, Louise. I'm just trying to make conversation. Why are you both so touchy? It's a two-year anniversary of Femzy. We just signed a contract with Aura. Cheer up, things are good. What contract? Mm-hmm. You signed a contract? Yeah. She didn't exactly... Look, it sounds bad, but it's not... It's not a big deal. I mean, it, why does it matter anyway? You've agreed to it now. Yeah, but it, it was a bit sneaky, no? You lied. Did you know? Yeah, she told me just before you joined. I'm really sorry. I uh, don't apologise. Doesn't sit right with me. We literally just voted yes. It wouldn't have mattered either way. You already put us forward to this without asking first. It's not that deep, Maggie. Why is it they don't want Orla to model anyway? She's the one that started Femzine. If we're doing this, it should be her face on the front of this thing. Why don't they want her to model? Why don't you have a drink? Bye. What's that bothering you so much? Did you ask her? What? Did you ask your aunt why she doesn't want Orla to model? We both agreed that Orla wouldn't. She wouldn't want to. She hates being in front of the camera. I don't care about the photos. Just drop it. I wanted to talk to you guys about our audience. Had a few messages from people about inclusivity. You barely know anything about this product. I'm sorry, Aura, but we've got to take one issue at a time, all right? Sure, we get money and a few Instagram followers, but that's not what this magazine or what feminism has ever been about. It's not as straightforward as that anymore. Let's say it works, okay? We do blow up. Femzine gets massive. People will love the hypocrisy of it. They'll jump on us, eventually. We'd get crushed. What's what you're implying? You know, that's my aunt's company you're spitting off. I wouldn't be name-dropping her so much, Lou. People think of aura and the word bigot comes to mind. Maggie! You're loving this. The perfect moral high ground. The funny thing is, you're the real hypocrite. 
You claim to be the perfect feminist, but you've been gagging for a bitch fight with me this whole time. Stop it, this isn't- I'm just sick of you treating Femzine like it's a money machine, a quirky Instagram bio, something to talk about with a friend on Tinder. I'm not on Tinder. Either of you want Femzine to be anything more than performative, then I think you should rethink this entire thing. Fucking hell. Interrupting me. Both of you. It's very new. I get it. I just want Femzine to go somewhere. We hit a rut and I'm just, I'm trying to get us out of it. That's what I was trying to tell you before you two started kicking off at each other. Our reader stats are dropping like drastically. If we do this, and it's gonna become- Losing funding. Femzine needs to change if it's going to survive. Femzine doesn't need a skincare line to survive. Quite the opposite. I know you wouldn't like it, the collaboration, but if you love Femzine so much, why not make some money from it? You're not supposed to profit from activism like this. It's not right. People won't like it. What people are you talking about here exactly? <laughs> Listen, if it means sacrificing a few feminist points, then so be it. We're always going to be criticised. You can't escape criticism. So we might as well do what we bloody want with our magazine. What do you do it for? What? Arzine, why do you do it? I have barely heard you call yourself a feminist once since we started. You hate that word. You're scared of it. This zine, what we do is so important. And it's important because we make sacrifices to help other people. We sacrifice our time, our energy, to make something good. And if we start doing photo shoots and going to stupid events, then we become part of the exact oppressive culture we are trying to protect other women from. That's when things get ruined. Well, I wish I could think like you. You know, it sounds lovely. How do you convince yourself that you're actually making a difference? You know, the thing is, I don't, I don't think like you. I don't think we can change the world and I never have. I mean, I never even thought we'd be able to change one person. Not really, not truly. Femzine, it, it's a product, a magazine. It needs money to continue. Take a step outside of this activist fantasy you seem to have going on for just one second. It's not real. You're not going to change a thing, not really. Do you think, Orla? No. I think you're wrong. I think you're both wrong. We can change things, make things better, but we can't do it without the funding, the, the publicity. We can get all of that without Aura if we work a little harder. <sighs> right, I need to pee. You're just going to sit there and let her act like this. That's really how it is. It's not. She works hard. How come she can actually legally sign a contract anyway, without asking you first? I don't, I don't know. It's not good, Orla. You need to take a little more control. When it was just us, we had balance. And Louise is smart, I know that, but she's manipulating you. Maggie, this isn't the time. I'm not talking shit, she knows how I feel. This isn't really what you want for Femzine. You don't know what I want. Maggie, we haven't had a conversation, just the two of us, in over a year. You've totally removed yourself. Is that so shocking? I can't compete with the friendship you guys have. This isn't about friendship or about us, it's about Femzine. You can't separate the two. Stop telling me what I can and can't do. I've been in charge of this thing. Louise isn't even that nice to you. Sometimes I feel like if she wasn't dating your brother, you wouldn't be working so hard to keep her close. That's not fair. It's the truth. It's not. I've known Louise since we were like five. You created this competition between you guys. When we were close in first year, you didn't want Louise anywhere near me. I'm just sick of this weird competition. This magazine is about friendship. Friendship? I thought the two were separate. You're being rude. Louise is rude to you all the time. It's her sense of humour. She respects what I have to say. Does she? 
just because I don't force ideas on people, make people fucking uncomfortable to share their opinions, doesn't mean I'm not in charge. Comfort provokes change. It's necessary in activism. When Here we go. Maggie, can't we just chill out and make a magazine and actually enjoy it? If we're not enjoying it, then what's the point? You preach about changing the world and making it a better place. Doesn't that start by listening to the other women around you and supporting them on a personal level? But how can you claim to be the perfect feminist and activist when you put down the very women you're friends with just because maybe they don't see things exactly the same way you do? That's how humans work. We compete, we disagree. Femzine is bigger than that, Orla. I don't think it is. We do this to make a difference, okay? A real difference. That's why we, you, that, that's why you started it. This is what Louise always wanted. She wants to make Femzine glamorous. She wants us all to be these rich influencers rolling in a fake feminist facade which doesn't really mean anything because it's not real. It's fake. I'm not collaborating with countries which encourage the system we're fighting against. Aura is a skincare brand, not the entire sodding patriarchy, Maggie. Louise was right. We're not going to change the world single-handedly. We're getting older, we're going to graduate soon. The real world isn't all feminism and fairies, it's shit. But it's how it works. Since when did you get so hopeless? It's sad. Since I realised that we don't think the same way anymore. Your mum is this crazy, successful artist and your daddy's a bloody human rights lawyer. You have the footing to change the world if you wanted to. I don't. Is that what this is about? No. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. That's all you ever say, Orla. That was a long pee. <laughs> I may have run into Mark on the way back from the loo. You seriously just shagging? No. No, not shagging. God. Just a wee cuddle. <laughs> oh, of course it was. He was giving me perspective. Don't worry, no clothes are removed. I am an actual mess though. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. Guys, this is stupid. You know, arguing with each other, it just goes against everything we preach about. I'm sorry for being a dick. It's the wine. <laughs> chill. We can figure it out. Maybe we should just enjoy our night. Right, Orla? I don't know. Two years of making amazing, beautiful, empowering... I'm toast. <laughs> ...badass magazines. Maybe I will get a drink. <laughs> yes! Crack the wine out! This isn't going to work. Orla, I think we can figure it out. Come to some sort of compromise. Contract is signed. I thought that... This isn't going to work. It's not working. What do you mean? Maggie, Femzine isn't for you anymore. You just don't fit. Are you serious? It'd make it much easier for everyone, wouldn't it? I'll see you at uni and stuff, but this isn't right. You're going in a new direction and it's not for you. Are you... Really? Really? All right, I see. Well, I guess that's that then. I guess so. Right. I think I'm just gonna leave the call. Have a nice night, guys. Wow. That was fucking awkward. <laughs> Who knew a moisturizer ad would cause such a cat fight? Probably shouldn't say cat fight. I did not expect you to do that. That was very badass indeed. Mm -hmm. It's gonna work out, all right? You can find someone else from the team, someone a bit more, I don't know, fun, maybe. <laughs>
or we can give it a couple days and I'm quiet. sure. Just for a second, Louise. I need you to be quiet. I'm going to put a word out to some of the girls on my course. There are some good writers. We're not going to drink at our meetings anymore. We plan them ahead and treat them like a job. Professionally. Okay. And Louise, no more contracts or collaborations that aren't run by me first. Of course. I can send you my aunt's number if you like. You can sort it out with her. If you're having regrets, you know, if you feel bad, you can leave it a couple of days, speak to Maggie. Maybe she'll want to come back. No. Okay. This is going to be good. Okay. One day we'll be influencers or, or famous activists. Oh, I don't know, but it'll all be worth the stress anyway. Good night, Orla. Night.